Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, as you can see on the screen here, um, the league has opened an investigation into the trade that happened. Um, the trade had to be vetoed, or they had to try to do it another time. It just depends on how can they do it. But um, one of the reasons they can't do it is because of this down here. The Bucks decided to waive Ersan Silva because of Friday, his money would have been guaranteed. And, and then, like, the, his third year of his contract was non guaranteed. So he'd be, he would have been heading to his third year. So they decided just to waive it. But um, I think, like, they can probably still get a deal done or they got to wait because that's the rumor it has it. So he's going to go in free agency is that he does want to play for the Bucks, but I guess that um, they're going to have to try to, you know, I bet Sacramento if Sacramento wants to keep him. Um, so just to let y'all know, the trade has been like kind of like veto. So they got DJ and Dante back. And they just got to figure out like if they can do it through free agency tomorrow or they're going to try to do a different sign and trade. Like, because you know, they can also add um, Sterling Brown was somebody in my real Milwaukee Bucks group pointed out, which was a good idea that they could actually they resign Sterling Brown and do like a sign and trade with him and with um Bondanovich too. So that's just one way to do it. But um this is basically you just see like some of the um me uh, just upset and just don't even want to I wouldn't say the media I would say the teams were complaining about the trade that was going to happen but but then again this is like a new system from the um, pandemic so I think they the Bucks when Bucks and Kings would not get into too much trouble but um, how would they Canadian explain them the rules of how how this week is gonna like go? But I just think either of them shouldn't be in trouble for it. Um, it just kind of sucks because we got um. This was going to happen, and Bucks had no choice but to wave Ersan Ilyasova. And so, so tomorrow on, and as um, this guy Matt said, just because there will be in investigation to the Bucks King doesn't mean that there'll be definitely be any punishment. With something this public that far ahead of free agency, had to expect there would be an investigation. Now we just see how it plays out. Which is a good point. And also, um, they also made Frank Mason a third as a restricted free agent because they tender a 1.5 million qualifying offer on him. So that means they do want to keep him, although he's no longer going to end up being a two-way player. So hopefully it all works out. And plus they got their two second round picks and all that stuff. So this is going to be an interesting roster. But we will see soon enough. Um, 
you like the video, please give it a like. Um, also, check out Real Milwaukee Bucks fans on our Facebook page. And check that out. And also check out WrestleFans Speak Out on Facebook as well. Follow WFSO on Twitter, WFSO World. And also follow us on Twitch. Twitch.com hashtag WFSO. Um, th- tomorrow I'm gonna do a do something for wrestling at least. I'm at I'm trying to do a video after SmackDown to talk about my um, predictions of Survivor Series. So just watch out for that if you're a wrestling fan. But until then, yeah, have a good one.